So the whole 14 community has been talking about this interview Yoshi P did with Famitsu. And there's a lot of discussion, lots of debate about how Yoshi P intends to make 14 harder as you can see from the many media articles that spawned as a result of that. But really, Yoshi P was just very much misquoted, even to the degree to which he say he wants to make the game more stressful is mistranslated. And this clarification came from none other than the dedicated duo Miyuna and Iluna, who are known for translating every Japanese producer life letter to English on the 14 Reddit Discord. And I think there's two major inaccuracies spread by the media and social platforms. Yoshi P is widely quoted as saying he wants to raise the difficulty of the game and make it less stressful stress-free. So to begin, a part of his interview was conveniently left out by the media and it's the bit that Miyuna flagged that nobody seems to be talking about because let's face it, sensationalistic coverage gets more views and thus more money. The bit that was left out is the nuance about how Yoshi P said, and I quote, they might have overdone trying to make the experience of playing 14 stress-free and that they want to carefully change that a bit going forward. As Yoshi P believes, a little bit of stress here and there is just part of playing games. Now the part where Yoshi P says carefully change that a bit going forward is something I haven't seen in most media publications. That's the first misinterpretation. The second mistranslation is really more of an omission. While Yoshi P stated in the interview that they will change the stress-free element a bit going forward, he also specifically clarified that this does not mean that they want to raise the difficulty. And this is the key statement that many people are having pointless debates about simply because Yoshi P wasn't understood properly. There's a significant difference between saying, hey, I want to make the game less stress-free carefully versus I want to make the game more difficult. Hear me out, let me explain why. I think the distinction here is that when you consider the difficulty of a game, like 14, we are referring to its mechanical difficulty, meaning how difficult it is to play your job, how difficult it is to mechanically react to certain things in raids or bosses, how difficult it is to travel from point A to point B. All of these are game mechanics. Making the game more stressful involves determining what I need to do over time to complete an achievement. For example, the old relic weapon progression in boss gear is technically not difficult to perform, in terms of field operation mechanics. It does not require you to be a rocket scientist. It doesn't require you to max your melee uptime by exploiting snapshots and server ticks amongst other things. I believe what Yoshi P is really trying to say is that he wants to instill a sense of the need to invest time. Instead of turning in your tomes to a relic vendor, maybe you need to work towards obtaining the necessary drops to upgrade your relic weapon. So for example, you need to get 20 items from dungeon roulettes, which by a process itself is not mechanically difficult, but they come with so-called more stress to complete them periodically. And I use the word stress loosely here. It's more of a structured path to achieving something. And look, I understand, this is a very difficult balance to achieve. Heck, World of Warcraft tried to do it too much in the expansion for Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands, and they had to quickly scale that back in the recent Dragonfly expansion to good reception because they realized they've gone too far with those formal login daily grind mentality. And that is why Yoshi-P's statement must be taken holistically because he did say they want to carefully change the stress-free element by a bit in the future, which sort of implies he also knows that drastic measures like formal mentality, game mechanics, probably not the best knee-jerk reaction to feedback. And compared to the alternative of making the game more challenging, which once again I consider to be a form of mechanical difficulty, I honestly doubt that Yoshi P's intention here is to make 14 more challenging and harder from a mechanical standpoint for majority of the players. The way I see it, 14 already has a place to express that mechanical difficulty, and that is through ultimates. I believe it's fair to say that TOP and DSR are arguably the hardest ultimates they have released in comparisons to the earlier ones. This means there's already a channel through which Yoshi P and team can go crazy with the difficulty, mechanical difficulty, without the rest of the player base feeling alienated. Because you already know when you sign up for an ultimate, you're going to receive content that is difficult, tricky, and balances on a knife's edge, and sometimes it can get frustrating to progress through the game. But that's the point. That's where you expect the tough mechanical content. So pertaining to introducing new mechanical difficulty, I think ultimate is how Yoshi P and team chooses to express themselves. And yes, I'm aware this leads into yet another hot subject. Yoshi P has not provided a lot of information regarding job balancing going into Don Trail. There's a lot of discussions about job homogenization, the two-minute window, 
and I'm genuinely curious how they'll view this in Don Trail. Yoshipi was very clear in the interview, he does not intend to make 14 more difficult. Again, I think mechanically, but I also believe at the same time, it's possible to make each job feel special and unique to play without making it more difficult mechanically. So for example, some jobs should retain some of its niche of being better equipped to deal sustained damage in comparison to other jobs that have more bursty DPS profile. Something simple like that to differentiate them. Such a tweak doesn't make them more difficult to play. And in regards to Dawn Trail, I can see them potentially move away from the two minute meta in response to feedback from the community. However, with regards to this, I am probably less certain I feel as though it could go either way. Another train of thought I've came across was that people desired more challenging dungeons and alliance raids. And I found this to be worth talking about as well. For instance, if you compare the difficulty of the 6.5 Talia raids to the Ivalis raids, it's obvious that the case of the former is significantly less difficult. If I'm being completely honest, I personally do enjoy more challenging dungeons and raids, but this is simply because I personally find it hilarious to participate in alliance raids without being familiar with the mechanics and just watching everyone fail, including myself. But the fact that this is my point of view does not, however, imply that this is appropriate for me to speak on behalf of the community. Which brings me to my next point. I believe that a significant number of individuals who use social media tends to have the tendency of that mentality that is characterized by the belief, if you don't agree with me, you must be wrong. And you can see this in another topic that's ongoing in 14 community right now about the story skips, which is a whole other fiasco and I'll address that question in another video. But here's the point, Yoshi P and team are the only ones with the full data on player behavior for them to determine what is an appropriate difficulty for game dungeons and raids, and it might not please everyone, but it will appeal to the widest possible audience because why would they self-sabotage? And in addition, I actually question whether the vast majority of players really do desire more mechanically difficult content in dungeons and raids, and also in respective to their job rotations. I'm really not sure about that, but I'm a bigger believer that the majority of players are in agreement that making the game less stressful in small increments and taking a more cautious approach to this will appeal to them more. Again, a straightforward example is the Relic Weapon progression system. Compare Ann Walker to the previous expansion, mechanically speaking, it's not more difficult in the past. It just requires a greater investment of time, and there's a more structured path to get to your relic weapon. Which speaks to the common saying of you appreciate something more when you put in the work for it. And again, like I said earlier, it's a tough balance, I get it. But it's a balance if they find, it could work out really well. Criterion and Variant Dungeons, another hot topic. This is a good example to discuss when we're talking about the possibility of not necessarily making the game more difficult mechanically versus making the game less stress-free. I do believe some of the mechanics in Variant and Criterion, in particular, are difficult enough and challenging dungeon content. However, the reward simply does not motivate people to complete it more than once or twice. Despite the fact that everyone had a great time trying them out on the day of launch, of these variant and criterion dungeons, the excitement quickly dies down because the reward structure in place isn't attractive enough. So one way you can marry this with being less stress-free is by introducing really cool rewards that encourage people to run it more than once. For example, you need to run this dungeon 25 times to get 25 currencies that you can then trade for a really cool mount. Give people a reason, I guess, to group up with different groups of people, try it themselves, and just play it over time. This is yet another analogy of how the mechanical difficulty of a game versus the amount of stress in the game can be adjusted independently. And when it comes to MMOs, the biggest and most important thing to take into consideration is that 14 attracts a really wide and very distinct demographic. There are players who play this game solely for the purpose of role-playing, people who enjoy doing nothing but fishing in-game, people who are enamored with the music, people who are enthralled by the story, people who simply perceive 14 as a virtual chat room in which they interact with others. And the spectrum extends all the way to the hardcore end where there are individuals who make every effort to pass during raids and take on ultimate raids. And the reason each one of the above have found their own way of enjoying the game is because 14 was developed with the intention of appealing to the widest possible audience. Remember the complaints on socials and Reddit that occurred during the launch of Endwalker MSQs when some people complained that the Guardian Soldier quest was too difficult? If that already caused a significant amount of discourse within the community, just think about what will happen if the game were to become significantly more difficult mechanically. Continuing on what I mentioned earlier, I believe there's a place for that and they can go absolutely nuts with that in Ultimates. And so yeah, I have my doubts about Yoshi P's philosophy with regards to making the game more mechanically difficult. I think that was perceived wrongly by the media because it goes against what's been working so well for them as an MMO. 14 was an MMO that dared to be different because it targeted a different segment of the MMO market. And that is why 14 is where it is today. Why it's able to achieve success during the crazy year of COVID. 
Instead of trying to be another World of Warcraft clone, it opted to do things differently and CPU 3's unique vision definitely came through. Now, in the aspect of making it less stress-free, more structured in terms of rewards and progression, I do think that Yoshi P and team deserve a chance with Dawn Trail to show us what they've got, and it's clear they are cooking something. And this is the reason why I ultimately believe Yoshi P stated what he said in the interview, specifically clarifying that he will not increase the difficulty of the game. And it was a pity that he was misquoted in a number of media sources. On the other hand, I do concur that the game would benefit from having more gameplay loops that have a more structured reward system over time, and maybe a greater requirement of invested time. I think it's beneficial for the game if it was implemented in small, careful increments as Yoshi P suggested. Thanks for attending my TED Talk. If you like this content, smash the subscribe button. A big shout out to my Patreon subscribers, thanks for making this channel possible. And heads up, on the weekly podcast, I'll be interviewing someone who have made millions of people cry in Final Fantasy XIV. Link to the podcast channel in the description. See you in the next video.